So I found this huge rope at the bottom of the river. Like, look at this, man. A lot of fishing line gets caught up in it. Fishermen, you know, lose their lures on it. And I've always seen a lot of dead animals in it. So it's great to get the ropes out of the river. Yeah, it's just a little dangerous. So we'll run that up and throw it in the trash can. never found perfume before in the river uh, let's oh my gosh I opened it up and everything just spilt on me that is so disgusting <laughs> actually it kind of does smell pretty good so I found a lot of fishing lures on that dive but not too many like really good ones but this one right here is the best one out of all of the fishing lures I have found on that dive I actually found a whole bunch of sinkers these are actually reusable so what I'll probably do is give them out to some cat fishermen on the way out this is a pretty nice lure this is something I would use here at the river it's an underspin with a Kitex swim bait this is a good one man we didn't find anything crazy on that dive but we have two more tanks we have about 30 minutes until the water rises so we'll get back out there and look for some more treasure So you're not even gonna believe what happened. I'm taking some lures and putting them on the rocks over here. And I see a lady standing on the island over there. She falls in. So there's people trying to help her out. I'm a little bit far away, but if she goes in the water, I'll be able to dive in and help her out, right? So I run over there. They get her out of the water by the time I get over there. But then I ask her if she's okay. And she says she lost her phone. And so I'm like, all right, I put all my gear on, dive down. I actually found some glasses. So I hold these up, I'm like, hey, are these yours? She was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I lost those. So I gave her back her glasses, dove down again, found her phone, and then gave her her phone right back there on the spot. It was like an iPhone 7, man. What type of phone is it? It's an iPhone, man. It's not that I don't know why she
water rising. Proceed immediately to shore. Alright guys, so the water is rising right now. That means all the islands you see behind me are going to be underwater. So I got to show you guys all the gear we found in today's video really quickly. It's my uh, special little find. What do you think? Oh dang man, those are you. That's me? That's you. Am I beautiful? Yeah. I feel uh, kind of sexy right now. Not really. But... <laughs> <laughs> I know these are real diamonds. That's what I know. <laughs> Dude, if these were real diamonds. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Does that say Prada? What does that say? That says Prada, right? I think it says Prada. Are those pretty good? Uh, sounds like brand name to me. <laughs> Boys wearing Prada glasses now. <laughs> these might be real diamonds, Jake. <laughs> Who wins? Found these really nasty river slime sunglasses. I think these are me, Brandon. What do you think? Oh, uh, you Should have to put them on, yeah. I mean, not as good as the ones oh. Brandon found. <laughs> oh, mine, but, uh, mine have I diamonds. Mean, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sporty. Yeah. This lure is special because it's custom made and it's $150 and uh, this one has seen better days but I could touch up the paint job and it should work great. So I actually found a full cast net just in the river um, and unfortunately it does already have a dead fish in there. Along with that I also found a bunch of fishing lines so whenever we run into stuff like this we try to get as much of it as we can and throw it away. This stuff's really hazardous to the environment out here. Ran into quite a few uh, lipless crankbaits or rattle traps. This one on the bottom here is really cool. Normally we see, see these silver color ones, but this one's got like this blue, uh, sexy shad look. So that's pretty cool. Brandon, do you see that over there? <laughs> Dude, it like never, like I, some things just don't even phase me anymore, bro. We see some weird stuff in this river. <laughs> a guy on a duck over there just floating down the river. I guess this is just an abandoned raft. It's been here for like over an hour or so. I think uh, me and Jake are just gonna hop on the raft and ride it back. It was like, it was meant to be. Like the river gods are really looking out for us at this point. <laughs> I got us a boat, man. <laughs> the real deal. Come with me, Brandon. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of model is this? Like what's the Yeah, problem? no, this is the, um, <laughs> the baby bass boat 3000 it's a it's a newer model it's actually a prototype so oh, they sent it to me they heard i was a uh, an awesome youtuber they sent it to me baby bass boat go check them out babybassboat.com <laughs> <laughs> Brandon and I found this boat and we had a lovely ride down the river. Man. That nice. made our life so much easier. <laughs> but we don't have a use for it anymore, so we're just gonna give it to some kids. You guys want this boat? We don't have any use for it. Is it cool if we give this boat to them? You sure? I'm sure. 100% now. 100%. You guys you got go. a brand new boat. Congratulations, your boat owners. That's a pretty wow. awesome thing to accomplish. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>